What if information stored in your documents could update dashboards, kick off workflows, and drive automations across your tools? With Box AI, powered by OpenAI's new GPT-5, you can turn unstructured files into clean metadata that you can use to sync directly into your workflows. I'm Andrew, Senior Developer Advocate here at Box. Let's get started. In the next few minutes, we'll turn complex mixed format documents into structured, usable data that you can put into action. I'll walk you through a simple three-step workflow, extract, tag, and sync, that you can use for all kinds of enterprise content. So imagine this scenario. It's end of the month, and you have a shared folder full of different invoices from different vendors for different services, all in different formats. For example, you might have something like this one over here, which kind of seems like it's a multi-page invoice. You might have something like this, which is a printout that someone took a picture of. Maybe something handwritten with some corrections made. Kind of tilted to its side a little bit also. And you might have something standard, like this one. Now, getting the totals, invoice numbers, customer names, um, all that data out of this pile and getting it fast might be kind of tricky. So what's great is that Box offers the ability to add custom attributes to your files with metadata. So for example, over here, if I drop my own invoice metadata template that I pre-created, and here I predefine a few fields like order date, customer name, total, and those kind of things, I can choose to type in the values myself, or if I click on autofill over here, I can have Box AI handle it all in the UI. Now, if you had a bigger batch of documents, or maybe you want to build an automation that sends data from one system to another system downstream, maybe some other app, the Box AI API is a great option for that. You can use a small script to pull the fields you care about, like the invoice number, the name, those kind of things. You can use that same script to add metadata to each file automatically, like the ones you see over here. And then you can pass that same JSON with all that metadata to whatever app needs it downstream. Let's jump into cursor and check it out. So in this small script, we're going to be using Box's Python SDK to make most of our API calls. So down below, after all these imports, I have a few configurations, which includes things like my metadata template key and also my folder ID, full of all the invoices. Um, so for every item in that folder, we're going to be carrying out three different steps, all in order. For step one, What we're first going to do is call Box AI with GPT-5 on the hood over here. And what it's going to do is read the document and give us back JSON that matches our invoice template. So pretty straightforward. Once that's done, we're going to write those fields back to the file as Box metadata. And once step two is done, the final step is to send the same JSON payload of that metadata over to Pinecone, which will give our downstream app access to every invoice in our folder. Now, I also wanted to point out this helper method over here that ties it all together. Pretty much all it does is execute all the above for one file. And then down below, we also have this main batch driver to authenticate, read everything from the folder, and hand it off to process file above. So it's a pretty short script. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Open up terminal. All right, it's pretty much all done. For each file, looks like we're kicking things off by pulling out key fields. I can see the customer name, grand total, invoice number, the order date, payment method, those kind of things. And then once that's done, it looks like it writes all those values straight back to the file. So again, it saves the metadata to that file inbox. And then for the last step, we send that same metadata to Pinecone right over here. So at that point, pretty much ready for semantic queries and whatnot. So far, so good. Let's check out what it looks like in the UI. All right, so now back in our folder, let's double check everything and see if all the metadata got added. Checking out this invoice over here. If I click on metadata, great. Looks like it pulled the order date, customer name, total, all the data that I cared about. 
Let's check one more file. And even for this weird image over here of a camera shot, pretty much, of a printout, it pulled out all the data that I wanted. So it's clean, transportable, very easy to use. Now, if I head back into Pinecone, let's see what got upserted. I have my index over here, which is just called Box Invoices. And if I click on that one, and scroll down below, And there it is. That's all our invoice data. So what's great is that GPT-5's larger context window and sharper reasoning helped me pull out all the information that I wanted from my invoices without extra setup. In short, we just pulled the key fields with Box AI. We tag each file with metadata. Then we handed off that same data to another system that we used, in this case, Pinecone. And all I really changed in my API calls to use GPT-5 is really just the model name. So this exact workflow works for things like contracts, receipts, HR documents, reports, all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. If you want to try things out yourself, check out the Box AI developer docs. Here, you're going to have access to API references, SDKs, guides, pretty much everything you need to get started with Box AI. I'm Andrew, Senior Developer Advocate here at Box. See you next time.